Hey everybody, my name is Kitty Wong and I've written a book about the coronavirus. So it's called Bobby Baboon and the Invisible Buggies. And it's all about how the coronavirus has thrown our lives. It's upside down. And sometimes things feel like they're really bad and we feel really sad. But you know, just because things are bad now doesn't mean they will be forever. So let's find out what happens to Bobby on his adventure. So this book was written by me. Kitty N. Wong with Daniel Levia with a forward by play therapist Rachel Winston and was commissioned by Hong Kong Free Press. Bobby Baboon and the Invisible Buggies. Bobby Baboon lived in a great big rainforest community full of tall trees and many animals. The animals ran shops, markets, schools, and businesses. They all mingled together freely. Usually the forest was crowded and busy with forest creatures going to and from work and school. But today something seemed very different. Bobby Baboon slid down the tree trunk to his friend Polly Porcupine's house and asked if she wanted to play. But Polly only scurried away until only her fluffy brown tail could be seen. She said, not today. My mama said I can't. I brought banana bubble tea, said Bobby. But Polly only perked up her quills. Feeling left out, Bobby Baboon went to Mama Baboon and asked if they could walk to school together like they usually did. But Mama Baboon explained to him that a new invisible buggy had been discovered in the rainforest. And if it landed on your nose, or on your mouth, it could make you very sick. And you could feel cough and feel terrible and awfully hot. So that's why, to be safe, most of the animals had to stay inside. Hmm, things certainly feel very different thought Bobby Baboon, and he did not like the change. He felt confused and frustrated. He felt angry and he felt restless and most of all, so very bored. It went on like this for days and then weeks. Some days Bobby felt lucky to be resting in his family's beautiful tree, but other days he felt trapped and helpless. One day he started to cry. Who's making all that noise? called a voice from above. Oh, he had forgotten. There was someone else living in his tree, the bird who worked the night shift, named Old Owl. I'm sorry I disturbed you, sniffled Bobby. I just felt so sad. Old Owl was a kind and patient bird and asked Bobby Baboon what was worrying him. It's these new invisible buggies. It's pretty scary. Hmm, maybe you wouldn't feel as scared if you knew what it looked like, said Old Owl. And he led Bobby Baboon inside the tree to show him a strange little contraption. This is called a microscope. It lets us look at tiny things we couldn't otherwise see, he explained. The two of them squinted down the long glass lens and saw something purple wiggling inside. Wah, yelled Bobby, jumping back. That's the buggy there. It sure is small, but it's been causing a lot of trouble in our rainforest and beyond, said Old Owl. But if that's the buggy and it's too small to even see, how am I going to stay safe and keep it away, cried Bobby. It's okay to feel worried and scared, replied Owl. We can't completely stop the buggies, but there are some things we can do to keep ourselves safe. We can remember, pause, arms, snouts, and spirits, and the virus will pass you by. First, paws. Did you know the buggies absolutely detest clean little paws? They can't hang out on them for long, so you should always make sure to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. You can sing a song if that's more fun, and especially remember to wash them before eating, after going to the toilet, or coming home. I think I'll sing Happy Banana to me, said Bobby. Haha, ha, that's a good one, continued Owl. And next is arms. And if you must go out into the busy forest, make sure you stay at least one meter away from other animals. How can you tell? Well, if you stretch out your arms, holding a banana leaf, and you can still tickle your nearby friend, then you're probably standing too close. Oh. So that's why Polly Porcupine ran away earlier, said Bobby. Not because she didn't want to play with me. She was just being safe. Yes, I think that's it, said Owl. And third is snouts. 
Now I know it's hot and rainy season, but if you must be around others, make sure you wear a mask on your little snout, said Owl. If everyone does that, it'll make it very hard for the buggies to jump between animals. Remember to press the wires above your nose and pull it down under your chin. And after you put it on nice and slug, snug, don't fiddle with it too much. And last is spirits, continued Owl. Little baboons need to keep in good spirits. And that means staying happy and healthy by eating your fruits and veggies, getting exercise, and getting enough sleep. Which reminds me, <gasps> yawn, it's time for me to go back to bed. But wait, said Bobby, what if I do get sick? Well, if you feel unwell, coffee or sneezy or fevery, the doctors and nurses of the forest will take good care of you. And what about if I get bored, sighed Bobby. Bored, replied Owl and looked truly in shock. Bored? But there are so many things you can still do. Make a fruit salad, draw the biggest tree in the forest, call a friend on your banana phone. You can make a list of all the wonderful things that you wouldn't usually have time for and do those now. Listen, I know it's tough when the sun is shining and there are so many trees to climb, but you have to stay inside until your family says it's safe. Good luck, Bobby. Good night. But wait! What if it's not safe for a long time? Hesitated Bobby. Old Owl picked up a brush and started painting on the tree. He drew Bobby, his mama, his papa, and all his animal friends together. They were laughing and having a jolly time. Then with his nimble talons, Old Owl carved the painting out of the wall and handed it to Bobby. Bobby, I've been around a long time and I've seen buggies come and I've seen buggies go. They never last forever. So when you feel sad or scared, look at this picture and remember that your family will always be there and that better days are to come. And with that, Old Owl went back into his hollow and back to sleep. Soon after, Bobby Baboon and Auntie Baboon climbed back into the tree laden with trees from the market. She had brought all of Bobby's favorite snacks. There were fresh colored fruits, fresh colorful fruits, steamed buns, and cakes, all banana flavored, of course. And the little baboon family shared the food together and had a little party, just the four of them. Bobby Baboon told Mama and Papa and Auntie Baboon all that he's learned, and he didn't feel so afraid anymore. So that's it. That's Bobby Baboon and the Invisible Buggy. So I hope reading that made you feel better. So we could be like Bobby Baboon and stay safe and wash our paws all the time, stay an arm's length away from people, and cover our snouts with a mask, and stay in good spirits. And remember that things might be bad now, but they won't be bad forever. Okay, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, if you're reading this with your kids, yeah, let me know. Uh, also, like what kind of activities have you guys been doing inside? Have a good day!